Hey game devs, Dan here with You Contribute Games and in today's video we're going to continue our health manager tutorial series. Today we are talking variables. Alright, so we're going to take a few minutes to talk about variables. Now within our health manager, there are going to be two types of variables, public and private. Now our public variables are set to public so that their values can be adjusted as needed in the scene hierarchy. Now for the most part, you only are going to want to include things as public variables, which are reference variables, things uh, you designate that should have an item assigned to them in the scene hierarchy so the script can interact with the item. For example, if you want to be able to interact with any of the values associated with another game object or variables within a script of a game object, um, you want those set as a reference. That way you're not spending processing power searching for those items while your game's running over and over and over again. Uh, for our private variables, these are used internally by the script and are set and returned via function calls if needed outside of the script. This is going to allow us to lock down these variables, ensuring nothing outside of the health manager can directly adjust the items it manages, such as player health, without asking to do so first. All right? So what that means is we don't want anybody and everybody and every script out there to be able to easily just change these variables. We don't want anybody that's in our game building levels, importing assets, or any of these other things to be able to adjust these values once we set what they should be in our script. And we don't want any other scripts easily being able to just change the value within this script. We want them to have to request this script to do that. That locks it down in case we need to make tweaks as far as you know what values we allow it to be changed to and it's going to allow us to easily search for specific function names caught being called within other scripts to see if anything else is calling on the health manager to update these values all right so let's walk through the variables that we will need in our health manager first let's start with the public variables we have a reference to the UI's health bar or the slider bar, which is our health bar slider. We have a reference to the health text box. Um, and then we're going to have a reference to the image asset for our damage flash. And we will have two public variables for our damage flash, including the flash speed and flash color. Now we set these as public so that we can tweak these within the scene view. Uh, while we're testing our game. Once we lock down exactly how we want the flash speed and flash color to look, we can come in here, move those over into our private variables with the value hard-coded and lock those down as well. Uh, the other reference we're going to have is to the image asset for our heel flash, and we will have a heel flash speed and a heel flash color for those as well. Now, our private variables, we're going to have a maximum health that our character can have. Um, we have a minimum health that our character can have. And then we're going to have the current health that our character can have. Now, keep in mind, this is going to be the values that uh, would associate to your player or your enemy or NPC or whatever character you drop this health manager onto and would lock down to that. Now the other two private variables we're going to use are damaged and healing. These are both Boolean variables, so they're true false. And the way these are used is as a flag indicating that uh, within this frame, the character this was on was either damaged or healed. And that's because we have some functionality built into this that says, if I was just healed, I should perform this function, right? These are things that are going to allow us to uh, perform the flashing images only when we get hurt. Um, so that'll happen and you know it'll reset back to false at the end of the frame or the beginning of the next uh, update iteration. And in our next video, we're going to dive into the update function and see what is happening each and every frame within our game under this health manager. All right. Um, so 
Come back for the next episode and we'll dive into that. I'm going to go ahead and blow this up real big on the screen so you can see uh, all of these variables. If you're following along and building this out as we go, building this script, you can uh, pause it here and type this information up. And if you would like a completed copy of the health manager script and all of the assets that are in our health manager demo, there is a link down below that's going to take you somewhere where you can pick those up very easily. And um, like I said, definitely come back for the next video where we're going to dive into our health manager, into the update functionality and continue our journey towards building out this um, tool to throw in our game development toolbox. All right. Well, game devs, if you're hearing this, then you made it all the way to the end of the video. And if you did that, you should go ahead and uh, move your mouse down and click that subscribe button. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, head over to www.youcontributegames.com and join our newsletter mailing list so you can stay up to date whenever any new content is released. And we'll see you in the next video, guys.